Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Joe. I'm Kyler. All right. This week in tech, we got Samsung event. Talk about that a little bit. Microsoft, mm-hmm. the new store coming this fall, and much more. But before we get you updated on what's going on in the tech world, please, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. It's the easiest way to stay updated. All right. Yes. Let's get started. All right. So uh, Samsung's uh, Unpacked event, right? That's what it's called? Yep, so unveiling all their phones, the Samsung Note, the Tab S7, as this article states. Um, But the interesting thing was the inclusion of Xbox Game Pass. The bundle? Yeah. With the the controller and three months Game Pass? Mm -hmm. And xCloud, I believe. Well, obviously. Yeah, so it'll be coming to these Note 20s and the Note 20 Ultra. Um, Yeah, like Kyler was saying, three months free. Uh, it'll work on the S S7 tablet and those 20 phones. Um, typically, Game Pass Ultimate, if you have that, it's going to be 15 bucks, but they're giving you three months free just to try it out. You don't need an Xbox, just that phone. It'll come with the code, plug it in, play, boom. Yep, and those devices have been said from Microsoft to be optimized for uh, xCloud in specific, so they are supposed to run very well with Game Pass and xCloud and all of that. Mm-hmm. Do they mention what controller they're giving, though? I actually was just thinking about that. I don't know. It looks know like if a Moga. Are they giving a controller away? I don't believe they uh, said it, they were. I, I thought it said it was going to include a controller as well. Um, Include three months of Game Pass, Ultimate, and a Bluetooth controller. Interesting. Okay. So I wonder what controller it is, because there's, I believe, three controllers out or coming out that are going to be wor- or specifically designed for xCloud. So I'm curious which one they're going to give. Yeah, Probably so just your standard. Guess, yeah, I would guess that. What are you saying? That, what do we got? Moga, the one shown in this image right here. So Yeah, that's what I was saying. Basically, it looks analog sticks are all the same. I, I don't know, mm-hmm. Basically, Xbox controller knockoff. I'm curious on the battery life <laughs> in terms of just, you know, Bluetooth and all this other stuff. Obviously, the yeah. battery on the Samsung Note 20 series is pretty good. But uh, the one thing we still have to find out is how much data is this going to use? So. Oh, yeah. it's it, So, before I had a gaming PC, I was using uh, GeoForce Now in the mm-hmm. beta, and I used an extreme amount of data just trying to stream PC games to my laptop. It was ridiculous. I had to uh, do unlimited data through Comcast and all that, but uh, this is probably going to use quite a bit, I would assume. I would think so, too, yeah, based on, obviously, graphics and all this other stuff and how demanding yep. the game is. Some of these pictures here just show Minecraft. Which, you know, it can still look pretty good, but it's not your Red Dead Redemption 2 or any other open world <laughs> like that. So it's, um, it's not online Halo. So <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Playing an online yeah. game versus single player game, that's going to take a different toll on this phone. Um, but it's interesting that it's coming this soon, which is awesome. Um, yeah. You got to do you got to test it out on something. So Galaxy Notes are pretty powerful. Um, hopefully this trickles down. I believe it trickles down to other Android phones on that same day. Is that correct? Uh, I believe so. I believe so. Okay. And then no word uh, on iOS just yet, but that should come eventually. So I guess luckily if you have an iPhone, Android people will at least be the beta testers for this, I guess. Yeah. Uh, there's actually no word on uh, PC either. So like uh, if you have a low budget laptop, we don't have any information on that quite yet, but uh, I'm sh- I'm sure that information will come soon. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. It's not too far away. September 15th. That's pretty good. Yeah, and uh, I actually just recently got an email saying that the beta program was ending September 11th, so I have until September 11th to play with it for a little bit. To mess with some bugs? Yep, yep. Nice. But speaking of Xbox and all that stuff, we're going to go over to the Microsoft Store, because they updated this thing finally. Um, Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. it looks like they revealed this uh, coming out on August 5th, so yesterday, uh, as of recording right now. Um, looks like new store. It's going to be obviously significantly faster. They've said anywhere from like, you know, two seconds on a cold, cold start. So basically just turning on your system, going into the store and boom, it's already up and running, which is really good. Oh yeah, it is. And I'm, I'm imagining how fast it's going to be on the series X with that mm-hmm. SSD power. It's going to be, you're, it's going to open like that. It's going to be nothing. Yeah. I believe they, those numbers are coming from the series X. So yes, it is coming off more powerful hardware so i kind of don't maybe expect slower times if you're running the original og xbox one um but still it should provide it to be a little bit faster 
Um, Interesting. I actually thought those numbers were coming from a 1X, but uh, I believe you're probably right. That sounded a little ridiculous for a 1X. Yeah, so it's kind of good that you're seeing Microsoft kind of push the Xbox Series X a little bit more mm -hmm. because their whole marketing strategy has been play it anywhere. We don't care where, just play Xbox. Yep, so. which I... It, it's really like a change, or well, at least for me, and I'm sure a lot of other people, it's really changing the way that I'm seeing these new generations coming. It's mm -hmm. going to be really interesting to see where Microsoft goes in the future with mm -hmm. all this uh, xCloud Game Pass. They're just pushing Netflix of games on you so hard. I'm, I'm actually really excited to see how this turns out. Yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting for sure down the road. Mm -hmm. um, just to kind of come back to this update, though, it looks like, so if you're, what do you got, an alpha? A member so basically you're just getting it fresh off the fresh off the update here um oh you'll the be xbox to, insider yeah you'll be able to test all this stuff out see how fast it is for you um obviously it's not on the series x uh yet so you can test it on the xbox one x or the s or even the og one um and see how that works for you but it does come out this fall which obviously once the series x comes out it'll be the main primary store for it um, my mm -hmm. biggest caveat though, so they have great parental controls now and whatever you've been recently looking at, it'll come back to that, which is awesome. My biggest thing though, is bring this to PC. Oh, on the Xbox app for PC? Mm-hmm. The Windows Store yeah. itself. Like that just needs an overhaul. Oh. Yeah. I, I absolutely despise the Windows Store. Yeah. It's, I... uh, it's. It's not easy to navigate. Yeah, so either they, you know, copy paste a little sense into the Windows <laughs> Store or just make hey, the I'd Xbox be <laughs> app be this for the most part. Like, yep, yep. Here's my most recent games. Click on it, boom, play. Um, even if it's not directly from the Microsoft Store, I'm fine with that. Just you got to have, you know, both of the things talking at the same time kind of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. From what I've seen of it, it does look really it looks really good i i mm -hmm. think it looks a lot more organized a lot easier to find what you want and a lot easier to just browse if you're just like i want to find a new game you know it yeah. it just organizes everything so much better mm -hmm. i was gonna say you guys let us know if you're watching this all that stuff let us know are you gonna be updating this soon or are you gonna wait for fall see you know get all the bugs out and all that stuff and then finally update this so looking forward to this though for sure oh yeah definitely but then going over to Google Voice here, you might have heard of it. What was it? It was out in like what five years ago at least. Yeah, yeah. So it's a. It's been a while since it's been in the limelight, actually, and it just recently got a. Uh, what's the right word? Uh, almost cared, rebuilt. Cared about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a. It's it's a pretty amazing service, actually. If you uh, if you have. A uh, smartphone and you want another like throwaway phone number or just like another phone number in general, mm -hmm. you can uh, download this app and it'll actually give you another phone number for free and you can call, text, uh, you can do everything that a regular phone number can do over Wi-Fi or data services, so LTE. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've personally been using it on a work phone and uh, it, it actually is very, very... Uh, What's it called? Uh, reliable. Like, I haven't had any drop calls. I haven't missed any texts or anything. I There are a lot of cool things about this app, actually. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let Joe take it from here. I was going to say, I was going to try to um, talk about that work phone option more. Because somewhere in this article, I believe it's towards the bottom here, if I can find it. Um, it does talk about putting this on work phones. Basically, what Google Voice is going to be now um, to my understanding at least, is you put your phone number, whatever one you have right now, or I guess at this point, kind of whichever one you want, if it's not taken, is my yep. is my guess on that one. Um, you put it in this app, you log in with, uh, I'm get, is it a Google account? Because I know you use it. Yep. But, okay. Yep. So, so you log in with your Google account, boom, that's your number. Like, hey, reach me at this, it'll give you a call, it'll give you a text, that's fine. Oh, you know, oh crap. I dropped my phone in the ocean or, or whatever, not, you know, like it, it's broken. I need a new one. Okay. You yep. went and bought, you know, let's say not even the same smartphone. Let's say you bought a burner phone. As long as you can log into that app, people can still contact you. doesn't matter what yep. phone you have. You're just logging into the app and it's just like your old phone is. Um, so yeah, when it comes to work purposes and that stuff, it's pretty awesome just because 
you know, they can contact you and make sure you have the app on your phone kind of thing. And if that person's whatever, I guess, fired or something, then, you know, just delete it off the phone or anything like that or, you know, take that phone back. But having a number attached to an app is pretty smart. Mm -hmm. And there are, there are multiple apps that do this. There's a uh, second line and, uh, you know, I can't really think of another one, but I do know there's several. But uh, the cool thing about Google Voice as well is you can link it to your primary phone number that you have, your personal phone number. Mm -hmm. And it, when they call your Google Voice number, it it has the or it has the capability of actually forwarding that call to your primary phone. So okay. the way that I'm using this, I have two separate phones, and uh, I have a work phone and I have a house phone. So when I decide not to have my work phone on me, I can actually have any calls to that number be forwarded to my primary phone. It's it's a, it's really, really cool. That's pretty awesome. It doesn't cost any extra for me to have that uh, second phone, too. Google Fee is awesome. That's legit. And then I'm reading down here, the only downside, if it really means anything to you, most people probably not, but it says if you use Google Voice, all that stuff, you're going to have to use the Voice app itself for texting. Yep. Which really the only downside is, is the RCS. So if you're familiar with the iPhone, how it says, you know, it reads your messages Red. and lets you know when someone's typing. If you really yeah. care about that, then that's really the only downside. Other than that, no, no major downsides that I can no. see. So There's some cool little hacks with this too, such as... Uh, when uh, let's say you get your kid one of those phones that you can she can only call or she or he can only call five numbers. OK. Right. So they're only able to call five numbers for free for, you know, whatever. You can actually set one of those numbers to be your Google voice number. And uh, when you give your phone number, that kid's phone number out to th uh, people, give mm -hmm. them your Google voice number and that you can have as many calls from as many different numbers as you want, because whenever they call that number, you your phone personally is getting called through the Google Voice number. Interesting. Okay. So they're funneling they're funneling all those calls through that number and then your phone is called with the Google Voice number as well. It's it's really cool. There's some cool little hacks to this app. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. That's nice that they're giving it another shot, I guess. I'm curious why, but at the same time I'm not complaining. Yeah, for the longest time, it actually didn't work with Google Fee, so I was actually pretty upset about that, but yeah, it just recently recent. started. Yeah. Okay. This was like, what, last last year, I think? It finally started working with at least Google Fee? Uh, I think it was even more recent than that. Does it say somewhere in this article? Uh, I don't know if it gives me a timeline. It just says, you know, meet, meet Fee, but other than that, I... it's just stating that it's finally working with it. I almost want to say it was like only like a month or two ago. Okay. But yeah, give Anywho. it a try. All that stuff. Yeah, definitely. If you want a second number to sell stuff with, yeah, use Google Voice. Yeah, if you don't want your primary number, just, you know, someone selling it or any company like that, just you can use Google mm -hmm. Voice, make make one that's easy to remember or something, and then boom, you're good to go. Oh, and the RSS thing, that's mm -hmm. what it's called, right? RCS? Yeah. What is it called? RCS, yeah. Anyway, uh, I do believe that they are going to be adding that to Google Voice as well. Okay. So they're so. actually, yeah, they're putting some putting some effort in this thing. I like it. Putting some quality work in. Yeah. Speaking of work and all that stuff, looks like Google's buying some more companies here. Um, looks like they're buying a company called North to help them with AR glasses, which, if you're unfamiliar, Google has done such a thing before with Google glasses, but mm -hmm. it was definitely a hit or miss. They failed, sadly. Yeah. There was no hit or miss. <laughs> uh, depending, I guess, who you ask. Grant, they were really cool. That is true. Um, they were extremely cool. But they definitely didn't look like this picture here. They were just one single frame and then one kind of small screen in front of your eye. So people definitely gave you that sideways look like. Hey, it was like what, a. What is that guy wearing? It, it was like a mini projector that projected images onto your eye. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they just recently acquired, uh, I believe it's a ca Canadian company, right? North? Yeah. Yep, which will be staying um, there. So. so North had actually already released a uh, set of smart glasses that I believe were well-received. I think they were limited on some of their capabilities, and uh, North was making more capabilities for them. But mm -hmm. as of, uh, was it July 31st, Google actually 
killed him. Turned him off. Yep. So uh, I'm, I'm excited to see if that's because Google's making now Pixel glasses or like maybe it was just costing too much money for them to actually keep the focals operational. Alive. Yeah. It is, I would say, it's got to be some tedious work. But looking here, it looks like they were first $1,000, which for AR glasses, that was pretty reasonable. I don't know. I don't remember how much the Google glasses were back in the day. I think they were around there. They might have been a little bit yeah. even more. Um, I think they were more. Yeah, and then a month of launch, it dropped basically down to 600 bucks. Ooh, ouch. Um, let's see. Bluetooth, display notifications, could call an Uber. Basically, it's just, yeah, like you were saying, projection right in front of your face. So yep. say I'm walking somewhere, I need directions, boom, I'm going to see the arrow like it's in real life kind of thing. So, I do also believe uh, with the shutdown of uh, the Focals that uh, Google is actually refunding people $500. Okay, that's actually, that's pretty nice, at least. You get something yep. back, especially since they're not going to be supported or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to confirm that while you move on. Okay. Um, but no, I will say this, though. In terms of what they made, just looking at it, uh, yeah, your frames are going to be thicker because they have to put, you know, speakers and all this tech inside, but those actually look pretty good. Like, not out of the ordinary, there's no weird, uh, you know, camera i don't even know if there's a camera in these things or anything like that but that's where ar or just glasses in general can kind of get weird people get uncomfortable with that um which kind of makes sense though because you know you don't know if you're getting recorded or not um it's all about yeah. privacy so it's a little little yeah. hard on that one it's a definitely a touchy subject so so yeah um uh, as uh, this was posted June 30th, 2020, North will be refunding all Focal 1.0 buyers automatically starting from today. It'll use the original payment method. The company says uh, if that can't be done, North will be reaching out to individuals to arrange a refund. So, cool. yeah, they are refunding people. So that's that's pretty awesome. Nice. So, yeah, we'll hopefully see because of these Google acquisitions and that stuff, whether it be North AR, um, they've bought Fitbit, what, last year, I believe. Come mm -hmm. on, Pixel has to be doing something, right? I'm hoping they're not yep. just using this for high-end engineering or something like that. Like, release something, maybe give 2022 us some Pixel or glasses. something. Yeah, give me a yeah. watch, give me some glasses, do something with it. Um, that'd be, that'd on be a little awesome. Bit, on a little bit of a side note, uh, Apple is supposed to be er, potentially uh, making glasses as well. That's the rumors, at least. Yeah, so, so uh, the rumors and patents and all that stuff going around, mm -hmm. so... Uh, hopefully we have an Apple and Android kind of a show off fight. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be excited. Oh man. The biggest thing you, I would, Apple still pushes this even with their smartphones. Like I said, it's privacy. So especially with mm -hmm. these, if they're going to be kind of incognito smart glasses, I feel like you got to let the people know or something. If there's recording going on any picture quality, oh, or yeah. anything like oh, that, yeah. like, you're going to have to push that as marketing, like, oh, these are the most privacy, you know, things you can buy. But mm -hmm. at the same time, price tag wise, uh, let's see, these guys sold it for a thousand. How much you guessing? I'm guessing at least, at least 12. <clears throat> oh, for the, let's, assuming that they drop mm -hmm. a pixel glasses. Yeah. Let's say they do something with this. Yeah. I would say somewhere between 12 and 14, probably. Okay, and then just due to them being a first iteration mm -hmm. of a new device, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Coming from a commercial company. Yep, you got to test the waters a little bit. So let mm -hmm. us know in the comments too what you guys think. Are we, you know, balling it too low a little bit here? Would you go higher? What, what would you put as a price? Let us know. Yeah, so. and would you be excited on seeing some smart glasses? I mean, yeah, would you wear these? Imagine taking a test with smart glasses. You know, all True. these students, all these things they, now, they got it easy now. Like, nope, sorry, no glasses. Oh, uh, I got a pres. What if, dude? But these can have prescriptions. What if you? What if you have to wear them? Like these are your only things. Interesting, interesting. And yeah. I mean, if they're stealthy enough, would would they even know if they were smart glasses or not? Exactly. So would you go yeah. smart glasses or smart contacts? Ooh, that's Ooh. A, that's a debate. Debate yeah, that in that's the comments a... below. For sure. but... <laughs> yeah, so let us know. <clears throat> all right. Other Google-related news here. Wrap it all up. Obviously, Sorry about all the Google news, but uh, we, we Google's done a lot this. of stuff. Yes, they're yeah. 
they're definitely on the move here. We got to talk about this mm-hmm. Google Pixel Four now. Four A, I should say. Now that it's finally out. So thank God. Yeah. Uh, better late than never. Um, oh yeah. But yeah, it is finally here. Uh, as you can see here, we got a flat display. Punt, you know punch hole camera for the selfies all that good stuff mm-hmm. guess what google's finally made a modern looking smartphone thank god yes. they're actually not behind on this one i know <laughs> it looks decent <laughs> they they also didn't move ahead on this one either they're they're just right in the money right now exactly yeah so this yep. article is stating best in class camera which pixels are known for if you just want to take have a phone 350 bucks by the way um Obviously, I have no clue if promos are going to be coming out here soon. Um, so keep an eye on that. We'll let you know, too. Uh, best in class camera. Boom. Point, shoot, mm-hmm. click, forget it. It's going to come out great. Um, OLED display, I- high high quality um, screen. You're messing with that all mm-hmm. day. you got to have a good good screen. Really t- good screen. Really good screen real estate, too, with that hole punch up there. Like, very minimal bezels. Yeah. I, I love that. It is very nice. Um, 128 gig storage. I did not see this one coming. I was expecting 64. I'm, I'm really happy that they, uh, cause I believe that iPhone SE is 64 gig, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yes. Yeah, so Google is like, Hey, we're going to double it. What's up? Yeah. Um, low price. Like I said, 350. How can you not? Mm-hmm. I, I don't, I don't know if you just need a phone, just need a phone, you know, throw some Google voice on here kind of thing. Yep. Yep. Boom. Like, Great phone for the price. Uh, the against mm-hmm. that this article has and that stuff, the SE outperforms it. So <clears throat> when they say outperforms it, like how? Battery life? What? So the CPU that the Pixel 4a is using is, correct me if I'm wrong here, Kyler, but a year old? Uh, yes. It's a seven, Snapdragon 735. Okay. So it's a year old, uh, which obviously helps bring the price down. The iPhone mm-hmm. SE decided, hey, let's throw the iPhone 11's processor into the SE, which is phenomenal. Which is a little bit of a flex on Apple's part. Oh, easily. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they make the best processors out there. So mm-hmm. that's that's good for them that they were able to do that and keep the price low too. Um, battery life could be better. Yes. In this article, it states it gets about eight hours and some change in battery life mm-hmm. compared to the, you know, the iPhone SE's getting nine and then some. Um, but for eight hours, that's pretty good in my opinion for 350 and it quick charges mm-hmm. in about 30 minutes gives you what, about 50% or so or yep. something like that of your battery life back. So it's, it's a really impressive device for three, uh, $350. Like if you want an Android phone, if you want the best budget Android phone you can find, mm-hmm. this is what you want. Yeah. This takes amazing photos. The battery life is adequate. The screen is just gorgeous. It it even goes on in this article to talk about the color uh RGB spectrum that the screen can let off and it's like it's it's really impressive for this price point. And it'll destroy the iPhone SE screen any day with those like major bezels the SE has on the top yeah, and the bottom. Yeah, cuz they're using an iPhone 8 body, I believe, and also not yeah. that. They're using what? An LCD panel? Uh, I believe it's, it's only not an like, OLED? like I no, I think you're only gonna be push. I don't even think you're pushing 1080p on that thing. Oh, you know, it is using an LCD LCD panel. That's yeah, a, you can quote me on that one. I believe that's a 720p <laughs> bad boy in 2020. So it, it probably is. Yeah, um, but the there it the Pixel is just amazing. The Pixel 4a has been reviewed highly, very highly. Yeah, so we talked about Samsung earlier, all this other stuff. Uh, that's going to be the Note 20, not the Note, Note 20 Ultra. That's starting out at 1000 Do you want a $1,000 phone or do you want a $350 phone? I guess all depending on what you're trying to do, trying to play that Xbox Game Pass, obviously the Note 20 is going to perform better on that. But for 350 bucks, if you're just trying to you know, rock a phone for – Voice calls, if people do that still, I guess. Text messaging, mm-hmm. social media, anything like that. Just a daily driver. Or just a spare device, you yeah. know. 350 bucks. That's pretty damn good. And you get a lot for your money. Black Friday right now. Yep. So. And then some of these down below in this article, I'll kind of go back and forth. You can see what the Pixel 4a does in terms of camera quality compared to the iPhone SE in case you're maybe debating between those two. 
Um, so the iPhone Which SE, it... in general, the pictures like to go a little bit warmer. And then your 4A does it personally. Uh, again, I'm I'm gonna go bias on the 4A side, but I just like the more for me at least the more natural looking pictures. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I I would say in certain situations the uh, the 4A does uh, oversaturate things like the, like uh, these uh, sunflowers right here. Mm-hmm. But in general, overall. The, the pictures are much more vibrant and uh, natural and full of life, in my opinion. Yeah. and then I'll Also, you get down. night mode. Yeah. So that's a big one. That came out, what do we got, two years ago, I think, at this point? Yeah. So that's completely software-related, but it's still on the 4A. So you got the iPhone SE. Kind of doesn't highlight too much in in night. Um it, you know, you can still see what it is. It's fine. It's yeah. dandy, all that good stuff. Um, Pixel just, they will over, you know, just blow out whatever light is being shown. For example, that one on the deck there, that one is mm-hmm. getting just lit up. So. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I've tested Night Mode out uh, quite a bit, and it is, uh, it is an awesome mode. Yeah, I will say, cause on my testings with it, you do need some source of light. Doesn't have to be much. Mm-hmm. You do need some though, because I tried to take it in like pitch black just to see what it would do, and obviously it came out just a black picture. But yeah, <laughs> it, it, let's say you're taking the holidays are coming up, and you have some lights on the outside of a house or something. It's gonna take those lights, whatever it, it can, and just highlight your whole house or anything like that. It does a really good job. Oh yeah, I did it. Uh, I did quite a bit of testing on fourth of july actually with the fireworks in the sky Mm -hmm. it uh it looked gorgeous actually it looked really cool yeah so much love for this phone obviously as you can tell um again if you're an iphone user though does this convince you to switch over to android or you know are you loving that iphone experience whether it be se or anything like that to even not even bother with this thing or any android phone for any reason let us know in the comments Mm -hmm. um now that this thing is also finally out, are you going to try to pick it up? Or Google also at the same time, as they announced this thing and released it, <clears throat> there's a 5G model, 4A, coming out. Yep. Also, they and announced the Pixel 5 coming out. Yep. And it's at the end of this year. So I, be- I y- believe the 5G, the 4A 5G, is going to be four ninety nine ninety nine as yep. well. Yep. Which I'm kind of curious how many, I know they're getting prepped for 5G, but at the same time, I don't, it's not fully there. And you have to be mm-hmm. super close to those towers to even yep. hit those speeds that they're offering. Yeah, uh, I do know that 5G is not fully rolled out. Um, but I do know that like larger cities do have the capability of mm-hmm. getting 5G. Yeah. So I, I don't know necessarily that I well I will personally upgrade just for five G, but uh, we'll see. If you want to future proof it, I guess that'd be my mm-hmm. only thing. But at the same time, the the nerd in me, in a little sense, the fact that the five is coming out still this year, yes, three fifty yeah. is a great great phone. But it's like, ooh, what's it's that what's around the corner kind of thing. They definitely yeah. got their hooks in me in terms of wanting to know what that is. But at the same time. Does that hold people from pulling the trigger? But again, it, Knowing, it might not because it's three fifty, maybe against you know six fifty, yeah. seven hundred. I believe that the five. This is an estimate too. I believe it's going to be seven hundred dollars, mm-hmm. and that's just due to they're going to be using a lower grade. Well, at least it's said that they're going to be using a lower grade processor, but yeah. it's still going to have like flagship specs so we're gonna have multiple cameras and we're gonna have a fingerprint sensor it's gonna be a gorgeous screen probably 90 hertz yeah but uh if i were to upgrade it would probably be the pixel 5 and that will have 5g as well Mm -hmm. you know what you could buy though for that 700 bucks what two pixel 4a's boom (laughs) (laughs) that is true and then i don't even know what i would yeah (laughs) just walking around i got two (laughs) Phones. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> but anywho I, th- I think that just about wraps it up doesn't it yeah you guys have been fully updated on what's going on in tech this week again please if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button i think it's right down there yeah subscribe yep. button should be right about i there. believe it's 
Yeah, somewhere around. Well, actually, it's on his side. Well, his yeah. side, but my side. I think what? What do we got? About right there. Yeah. Yeah. So that, just about right that, there. That red button right down there um, <laughs> helps you stay updated. It's the easiest way. So. Oh yeah. Also, like the video if you enjoyed our content, and uh, let us know what you thought of everything in the comments that we went over. Whether you'd pick up a Pixel Four A or the whether you'd Note be excited 20. to see Google Glasses or a Note Twenty or a Note Twenty Ultra, which is going to be like thirteen hundred bucks, by the way. Mm -hmm. but uh yeah we got you all updated this week thanks for watching guys always big shout out to our biggest supports there much love yes so all right we'll see you next we'll see time you. yep peace